Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be working on my Halloween costume. I will be painting Loki's variant jacket from the TVA and I just looked at the front of it and it's got like this very intricate TVA logo so I think it might be a little bit challenging. Um, I was expecting just like the letters to be easy but I didn't realize the logo was so detailed so I might be like cutting down on the detail a little bit. But other than that I'm pretty excited. I think I'll just be using um, acrylic paint and maybe I think I have some like acrylic paint medium that you put into it to make it fabric paint I'll have to look but I'm in my painting clothes you can see um, this is the shirt I wear literally every time I like do anything messy I'm gonna show you guys like the pictures from the show of the jacket and then how I'm trying to recreate it I don't think it should be too difficult at least the word part but it might be a little tough to do the logo on the front, so I guess I'll start sketching it out after and see what kind of materials I have too. So here's the back of the jacket. It's pretty self-explanatory, I think, but here, like, that logo looks a little tough, but then also this logo, like, uh, that might be kind of hard. So I was thinking of not doing the words around the outside and just doing the center thing, because I don't think you can really see it that much anyway, so... I guess we'll see, but I'm gonna go look at what paint I have. I also forgot to show you the actual jacket I'm using, which is kind of a key component, but I got it at Goodwill. It's just this like light tan dad jacket. It's pretty average. Um, it's not exactly what Loki wore in the show, which was a little disappointing, but I did go to Goodwill several times with the intent of looking for a jacket, and this was the best one I found. So I know it doesn't have like the collar to be popped up or anything and it's not quite the same color, but it should be good enough. It is just for one day for Halloween and I'm not even like going out anywhere. This is just for the internet and for fun. So here's my jacket. Let's get started outlining it and eventually painting. I think I found my circle size here, just my hydro flask, so I will trace that in like chalk or pencil. Also, I want to show you the materials I'm using. It's the only orange I had. I might mix it with a little, I don't know, white or something. It's a little bright, but it's probably going to be fine. And then I have this textile medium that just makes the acrylic paint permanent on the fabric. So I'm going to get my painting station kind of set up and start tracing out stuff. Okay, so the jacket is complete. I'll just give you a little like preview. Here's the front, you can't see it, but here's the variant on the back. And it's time to get all dressed up. So I have pants and a tie and I have to find a white shirt somewhere. Um, but yeah, I'm not actually gonna do makeup or anything. This was mostly just painting the jacket this video, but I wanted to show you guys my full Halloween outfit that I will be putting on like actually on Halloween just minus a few like embellishments so one second okay so the outfit is ready drum roll please here it is um i really like it i didn't think it was going to turn out so well um before i painted it whoa what is happening here i didn't think it was going to turn out so well like once i picked out the pieces from goodwill because they weren't exactly the right colors like this tie is supposed to be like flat and darker colors but I think it's like good enough um also can we just can we 
admire this. I think it looks really good. I really wasn't sure again. Once I was looking at the logo, I was like, wow, that's going to be hard. But I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I'm just wearing a random white polo shirt. It might be better with a button up, but maybe I will wear that actually on Halloween. I also have these horns, which I 3D printed. Um, you guys can watch a video for that. I actually did it twice because the first time did not turn out right, but this one fits me so much better. So, and then just these like regular brown pants. They're kind of like businessy. Um, they're also very comfortable, so I appreciate that. And let me show you the back. Variant. I love it. So here's me in my TVA attire going to catch some variants. Well, going to catch Sylvie. Yeah. Comment down below what you guys think. Um, I'm going to go take some more pictures of this inside because it is pouring rain and dark outside, but I want to show you guys still what it looks like. So you're getting it in my room, but yeah. Variant? I think yes. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I kind of made this costume and just what I'm wearing for Halloween in general. So make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!